Hey everyone, thank you for being here tonight. Welcome to how to, in 10 days, increase your energy and lose weight. I'm thrilled that you made the decision to show up tonight. Um, definitely a choice towards your health and longevity. So before we get started, I just wanted to go over a little bit of house cleaning. Um, I just want to make sure on your computer that any other screen you have open, go ahead and close it down. Make this one your full screen. Turn off your cell phone, close the door, just so that you can allow yourself to pay full attention. Um, also, be sure to take out a pen and paper. Um, you're going to want to take some notes. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so tonight I put together some of my best content, so I'm excited to share it with you and um, would love to hear afterwards um, what you think. So our agenda for this evening, what we're going to cover, we're going to talk about a little bit about um, my food journey, my process, my throughout my life, and then the source of our food today. Then we'll go into a 10-day plan for increasing energy and losing weight. And then at the end, I will save some time for some Q&A. So if you have any questions or need clarification on anything, I would be happy to give that to you. Um, and I'll just go ahead and let you know, too, here. We're going to be about 60 minutes tonight, so I'll do my best to not go over that and honor your time commitment. So my mission, my mission um, right now is to serve others through education and empowering them to take ownership over their own health. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Emily Wishaw. I have a very holistic view of the body and believe and know that food and movement are our greatest medicines. My hope is to provide people with the knowledge they need to decide for themselves what is best for their health and well-being. I have a degree in exercise science and I'm a Purium Healthcare advocate and a body worker. Um, the body work that I do is structural integration, so it sees the body as looking at the fascial network, so the soft tissue network of the body, and looks at the person and knows that each part is connected. And then we work from there. So it's a hands-on therapy that works to get proper alignment of the body and gravity. And through my work, I'm beginning to understand even more on a more real level the importance of a well-balanced diet full of potent nutrition that supports our health and allows our bodies to thrive. Without proper nutrition, our bodies are able to heal in their best manner. Um, a little bit more about me. Um, I spent a year volunteering full-time at a homeless shelter. And there we didn't have a budget for food, so we made meals formed around whatever had been donated. There, so there was a lot of old bread, pastries, more or less junk. And we did pretty good. We made pretty good meals for circumstances. We were a soup kitchen, so we were open for three meals that were free to the public every single day. So anyone who, even if you weren't staying at the shelter, could come in for a free meal. So we served a fairly large population, and we made do with um, what we got donated, some very interesting creative concoctions, but all were based more or less around refined processed foods, a lot of flour, a lot of sugar. <clears throat> and during this time um, that I was working there, my diet overall was also pretty poor. Um, I had a lot of processed foods, a lot of sugar and gluten, and almost continuously I felt bloated. I had very low energy. My thoughts were scattered. I had trouble focusing. My overall mood was honestly pretty poor, and I continually experienced digestive issues. And 
I would sometimes look at what I was eating and kind of shift it, but my perspective on food totally hadn't shifted yet, and I was still in, in a lot of old beliefs. I'll just leave it at that, around food. So after completing this year at the shelter, I moved to a yoga retreat center where I lived and volunteered for six months, a complete shift from what I was doing, and the food as well was a complete shift. Now I had access daily to organic, local if possible, food, and during this time I also was eating vegetarian and consumed very little gluten and very little sugar. This was the first time in my life that I ever felt comfortable in my body and at peace internally. Of course, there was more to the lifestyle I was leading there that influenced this shift, but in my opinion, the biggest factor was what I was eating. It was filling myself with whole organic foods that gave me the fuel that I needed to thrive. And ultimately, to be at a comfortable weight, feel energetic in our lives, it comes down to what we are eating. So tonight, I'm really excited. I'm going to share with you my, whoops, sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> we went a little fast forward. Um, but yeah, so tonight I'm going to share with you my step-by-step -step system for how to eat for 10 days to increase your energy and lose weight. So again, here is our agenda. I will go over um, a little bit more of my journey and then also the state of our food today. And then I will give you my 10-day eating plan and then we will save time for Q&A. So what would you do as we're getting started to have the energy of a child, to be able to have the energy to achieve your goals and do what you love? So yeah, sure, maybe we will never get back the full energy of our youth, but we can get pretty darn close. Um, by fueling our bodies with pure, organic, clean foods, we nourish and revitalize our systems. Honestly, the, the human body is a miracle. When we treat it right, when we give it the proper nutrition, it will thrive. So we each have the potential to tap into this boundless energy. It just has to do with what are we feeding ourselves and fueling ourselves on a continual long-term basis. And so, yeah, we have a choice. This is a choice that we have to make, how we are going to eat. And this picture makes it look like it's pretty black and white. The left-hand side, we've got greasy pizza, french fries, hamburger, and then the right, beautiful greens, some blueberries. It's fairly obvious in this picture. The choice that's going to allow your body to feel vital and healthy and light and energetic. However, Unfortunately, not all our food choices are this clear. In fact, most of them often aren't. And we are also, in today's fast-paced and internet world where we have so many sources, there is a lot of conflicting advice out there. And it can be very challenging to determine what is the best way to eat for us. And maybe you're even... Um, going into Whole Foods and see something that's gluten-free, maybe a cookie or a cracker, and just automatically register, oh, it's gluten-free, it must be healthy. Or perhaps, I think, like Annie Ann's, not ragging on the company, but like they have the mac and cheese and it's natural, maybe even organic. So we say, oh, it's organic, it must be healthy. Uh, but it's still a very, it's it's gluten. I'm not saying it's the worst thing, but it's, we have to understand how these foods affect our body and affect them in the long term. Another one, maybe you see a protein bar, and if it's a protein bar, it's made to fuel us and give us energy. Must be healthy. A popular protein bar is Cliff Bars. If you actually look at the ingredient label on Cliff Bars, there are a lot of chemicals and refined ingredients in there. 
not necessarily the best choice when you're looking for good fuel, say on a hike or a long bike ride. However, <clears throat> the way excuse me, <clears throat> that the Cliff Bars advertise and the marketing around it makes it seem like this illustrious bar. So yeah, we have been misled through labeling, marketing, outdated wrong diet information that is not actually healthy. And so here's a little bit segue into my journey through all of this. This is me about seven years ago. Uh, this was, we stopped, we were road tripping to Texas. This was a refuel break. And a Whataburger. <laughs> Usual hamburger, soda pop. I, even then when I was eating a lot of fast food, I very rarely drink pop. Um, so this was a special occasion, I guess. Now I never drink it. But, um, yeah, so in this picture, I was a few pounds heavier than I am now. But what I see more in this picture, I look at, I see my complexion. I see my face. And my skin doesn't have that same radiance or clearness that it does now. That honestly is what I noticed the most. And I think that's so interesting because what I was eating then was not nourishing whole foods. And I cared more about, obviously maybe not on this meal, but more or less I cared more about calories and then the quality of what I was eating. And I also, what I really remember about this time was my internal state and just feeling uncomfortable in my own skin and slightly unhappy, but never acknowledging that to anyone, especially not myself. And, um, yeah, it was just numbed down with, with food. <clears throat> so, and more about through this, through my life as I, you know, did the calorie counting in college, and um, most of the time before that, I some old beliefs here, fat is bad, I held that belief so strongly. I remember being in junior high and packing a Boca burger in my lunch for school, and if you don't know what a Boca burger is, it is a fake spicy chicken patty. So, super processed, super full of chemicals. However, none of that registered to me. In my head, it seemed healthy as it was a meat alternative. And I remember looking on the back of it, on the, on the nutrition facts, and seeing five grams of fat. And I thought that was so much. I thought there was so much fat. And I remember thinking, well, this is the only fat I can have today. Or definitely can't eat two local burgers in one day because that is just too much fat. And everything in our house at that time was was diet or non-fat. We had diet V8 splash, non-fat pudding, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I didn't care about the sugar I was consuming. I didn't care about the chemicals that I was consuming. I cared more about the fat because I believed fat was bad. So letting go of old beliefs takes some time. And even as we learn and have the knowledge that it's wrong, it can take a little time adjusting to that and implementing it in our lives. And so there's, there's confusion, the confusion period of, well, what is right and what do I believe in? What is right for my body? <clears throat> and there are so many different ways of eating as well now, um, with paleo, vegetarian, vegan. Those are just a few of the largest ones. So it's, it's difficult to know what is the best way for me to be eating to support my body. <clears throat> so what I believe is the most important thing is knowing where our food comes from. The state of today's food industry is GMOs. For those of you who don't know what a GMO is, it's a genetically modified organism that has been put into different foods, definitely corn, all corn and soy is more or less contaminated with GMOs. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and then many others if you buy non-organic um, are do contain GMOs. And there are studies that have linked the consumption of GMO food with higher risks for a variety of diseases. So that's, for me, important to note. So again, this is also, so why choose organic? All of our food pesticides are being sprayed all over them. And these pesticides, these are linked to diseases. There are different chemicals in them that are known to produce certain diseases. And this is what we're eating. This is what we're putting in our body to nourish ourselves. It, and I understand that organic is expensive. We can't always afford. But there are certain staple items that I always buy organic, such as, like, my meat. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen a feed lot. I grew up in eastern Kansas and so have driven through Dodge City several times. It's several feed lots in Dodge City, and the whole town stinks. And going to one, driving by one, you'll see the state firsthand of conventional meat, and it will make you think a second before eating conventional meat again. So we very much, we are what we consume. That's why I choose to eat mainly organic, and especially when it comes to meats or greens and then certain fruits. And there are also, with our food industry, motives. Um, companies like Monsanto, which is a major player in GMOs, who also owns a lot of food companies that we see in our grocery store, controls a large part of marketing and what we're hearing. So unless we actually seek out information ourselves, we're not necessarily being fed information or food that will actually benefit us. So what is this lifestyle of confusion or just not sticking to any clean eating style because they're not sure how to eat or eating non-organic, eating conventional meats. How does it leave us feeling? Well, for me, if I choose to eat that way, it leaves me feeling very sluggish. I feel sad, depressed. My immune function is down. I know that the times when, say, I've been at a, on a holiday or away for a weekend and let gluten and sugar slip into my diet, I can catch a cold a lot more easily. My thoughts become a lot more scattered. I have a hard time focusing. And there can even be times that I know I've experienced this when I've really not been w watching or intentional, I should say, about what I'm eating, that I feel like I'm at a standstill or stagnant in my life. Because our food is fuel. It really is. And to change our life, to get what we want to create out of life, ultimately, we got to give ourselves proper gas. we got to give ourselves proper nutrition. It all starts with food. <clears throat> so what can you gain out of all of this? When we truly learn the truth about food, we can conquer. We can take educated steps to choosing what is the right food for us. You can do what you love again, regain the energy and vigor of your youth, um, take charge of your life, redefine your life, let go of any stagnation, let go of any old beliefs, and just decide, commit, and go for it. Decide to do something about your health. So before I give you my 10-day uh, clean eating plan, I would love to hear from you. What do you already do to take care of yourself? And you can just put the answer in the chat box if you so please. Well, I will go ahead and share what I do to take care of myself. Maybe I'll share from back when I was eating. Well, I'll just share with now what do I do to take care of myself. Um, 
I have a nightly ritual that I do every night before bed, um, which just involves some restorative poses and a, reading into a couple of centering mindfulness books. So that's something that I do to take care of myself. So now I will share with you all my 10 days of clean eating. And this is just it's a very simplified plan with loose edges around it because it is important to me that each person makes a decision on what is best for them. So I want to provide people with information and with the power then having the knowledge, the power to make the decision that is right for them. So this is just a simplified 10 days of clean eating. So, for instance, if you're eating sugar on a fairly regular basis, eating gluten, any sorts of processed foods, or also addicted to caffeine, or um, have alcohol somewhat frequently, this is a great way to kind of reset and revitalize your system. So during this 10 days, the focus, this is a um, food pyramid that I borrowed from, you can see the website on there, MIH g2.com. One of my favorite things about this is the bottom, the largest section is filtered water. So during your 10 days, a huge part of it will be making sure you're getting plenty of water. And possible, I always suggest filtered water. Something that I would change on here is next up is vegetables and fruits. I would make the vegetables over about 70% and the fruit about 30%. Um, because fruit does contain a lot of sugar, and in my opinion, we should regard it a little bit more like a treat. So yeah, maybe having two apples a day or an orange here or there, but not being the staple of our diet. So during these 10 days, what to avoid or let go of? Um, using the terminology let go, for me personally, is easier than saying avoid. So if I let go of gluten, sugar, processed foods, alcohol, caffeine, pesticides, any foods with added hormones. So instead, during these 10 days, we'll say yes to eating organic fruits and vegetables, eating whole grains that are non-wheat. So the grain that I most typically eat is quinoa. You can have almond coconut milk, grass-fed organic meats, wild salmon and fish. So again, for 10 days, we'll eat clean, pure, organic, whole foods and let go of caffeine, processed foods, and alcohol. And during this time, it'll be a great time to increase consciousness of foods that you do typically eat or maybe a condiment that you typically use to do a deeper look and look at the ingredients and see what all is in it. A lot of things contain sugar. Most ketchups contain sugar. Um, so use this time as a way to really reset your body and retrain your habits towards food. This is a great way to show your body some love through a 10-day clean eating challenge that supports your body's functions. So letting go gradually. I suggest um, if you're a coffee drinker or if you drink tea, some other caffeinated beverage, definitely getting it out of your diet, you will experience withdrawal. So I suggest before you start your 10-day challenge, the week before that, slowly reduce your caffeine intake. So for example, say you typically on a given day drink 16 ounces of coffee. The next day, drop it down to 12 ounces. You maybe have 12 ounces for two days, and then the next day, drop it to 8 ounces. And then the next day or two days after, depending on how your system's adjusting, drop it to 4 ounces. Maybe drink the 4 ounces for two days in a row and then drop it down to 2 ounces, etc. Then eventually, you'll start your 10 days and you'll give it up completely. And with the processed foods, the week before you do your 10-day cleanse, 
I would definitely suggest to go ahead and let go of gluten and sugar at least five days before, for sure do that, just to give your system and body a good boost start in this process. So um, if you do typically eat a lot of processed foods or have bread in your diet, a good segue into letting go of processed foods would be to replace the gluten or sugar processed foods with like organic rice cakes or rice crackers. Still processed foods still won't be a part of the 10 day plan, but it's a good way to segue into that. And so you may experience some withdrawal. I find that increasing good fat really helps with sugar withdrawal and sugar cravings. So whether that good fat be organic coconut oil or some homemade bone broth, um, along those lines, bone broth is really great for um, sugar withdrawal and sugar cravings. So I would suggest in implementing those into your diet to help out. And then alcohol during the 10 days, just simply take it out. Um, if you find yourself out, you know, with friends, at dinner, at a bar, just order some soda water and lemon. And no one will even notice. No one, no one will know you're not drinking or you can t share with them. Or if you typically like to wind down with a glass of wine, I would suggest finding some organic cherry concentrate that you can mix with water. And you can find these. I think they, they have that at Whole Foods. I order mine with their, a company called Perium, but I know that they have other varieties out there if you want to find someone else. And that's just a nice way to still have a little something to wind down with. And instead, the organic cherry concentrate, it um, contains melatonin, so will support sleep and is full of antioxidants. So a win-win. So Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine. And I, of course, have to add in, let food and movement be thy medicine. <clears throat> so here is just a little list I have concocted <clears throat> of during your 10 days the food sources to choose from. So I don't know if you want to write this down or if you have an idea already of what you would eat, but um, good fat sources, organic coconut oil, organic olive oil, butter, avocado. So I suggest for any cooking that you're doing over a hot surface to use the coconut oil or butter. Um, olive oil actually denatures under hot temperatures. It's actually better for dressing. So if you're having a salad or adding oil to something that you're not heating up, the olive oil and avocado are perfect for that. But if you're heating it up, I do suggest using the coconut oil or butter. And then for protein sources, I suggest free-range chicken, free-range eggs, or wild-caught Alaskan salmon. Grain, organic quinoa, or organic white rice. Um, for years, it's been believed that brown rice has more nutrients, but white rice is actually easier for our system to metabolize and digest. So I suggest that. And veggies, any veggies you want, that's really a personal preference. And you can serve them any way that you'd like, steamed, sauteed, baked, raw, whatever feels good to you. And then for fruit, Fruit, I would suggest organic berries, organic apple, pear, oranges, and then greens are, I would suggest having kale, chard, romaine, or spinach. And it's really important for the greens to make sure you buy organic because that is something that the pesticides, since there's no, um, like peeling, for example, like if you were getting um, a butternut squash. It has its own shell, so it's a little bit more protected. The greens, it just penetrates right through. So I would do suggest buying those organic and eating them steamed or raw. Um, the romaine, you could have raw the, in the spinach. Kale and chard can be a little bit more difficult to digest as they are a little denser, so I'd suggest steaming those. And then I also suggest doing these 10 days a green shake, a daily green shake. You can juice your own, or there are a lot of local stores that sell fresh juice. Or you could use an organic green shake from a company, um, Amazing Greens, or yeah, Amazing Meals is a Whole Foods company. They have one. Um, if you're going to juice it your own, you could add in your romaine, spinach, kale, 
maybe a half an apple for some sweetness, maybe some broccoli, etc. So how these foods will fit into your diet here is an example day of what you would be eating on your 10-day clean eating challenge. So if you're planning to do this, I'd suggest Taking note of this and writing it down, but I suggest drinking one liter of water upon waking, which is a lot. And maybe the first couple of days it might be difficult, but in my own experience, after several days of doing this, I wake up pretty thirsty and I, I, it's like my system wants to be flushed with water. It's just a great way to waken up the system, waken up the body, and refresh upon waking up. I also suggest having a green drink upon waking. So that would be what I talked about on the side before. It could be a green juice or a green shake. And I will go further on the next slide into why a green drink is so important. Um, but just right now, that will just stay with the outline of the day schedule. And then for breakfast, you could have a serving of veggies and a fat, so add, like for example, this morning, actually I didn't have it this morning, I just had my green shake, um, but you could do some mornings, I'll have some steamed kale, and um, maybe some sweet potatoes added, maybe a little salt and some olive oil, and it's delicious. So um, I'd suggest something along those lines, and then the fruit is an option, you can either have it at that time, or if you find yourself getting hungry before lunch and need something to tie you over, you can add the piece of fruit there. Or if you realize that you're not hungry, then you don't need it. For our lunch, a serving of grains, six ounces of protein, six ounces of greens, six ounces of veggies, and a tablespoon of fat. So an example meal of this could be a serving of quinoa. And with some salmon and steamed kale, and some boiled carrots and maybe a little butternut squash in there as well. And then on top of it all, you could add a tablespoon of butter. Sounds pretty good to me. So you're definitely, during this 10 days, it's definitely about eating, eating well. It's not about not eating or depriving our bodies. Instead, it's about filling ourselves up with really nourishing and substantial, satisfying meals. For dinner, it could be six ounces of, of green, six ounces of veggies again, um, again, six ounces of protein, and a tablespoon of fat. So similar meal to lunch, just without the grains. And then again, a piece of fruit if you are feeling hungry or um, that you need it. But if I, again, if you aren't hungry, I would suggest opting out of the fruit just to feel, see what that's like. For a while, a little less sugar in your system. So here is my why the green shake in the morning, the importance of the green shake. So it's important to alkalize our system. So what does that mean? Alkalizing our system basically means balancing our pH. Um, green juices or green shakes give life-giving and detoxifying plant chlorophyll that goes directly to our bloodstream each day. So maybe balancing your pH doesn't seem too important. So I'll give you some examples to kind of help put it in perspective. Um, if you've ever had fish before, you will know that in order to live, they need to have their water at a certain level, pH, in order to live. Otherwise, they'll die. Additionally, this is also true for plants. They flourish when their soil is at the right pH level. So you can kind of see here, life only exists where there's balance, and our bodies are totally regulated by pH. And many of us are running around with too much acidity in our body. And um, some... Symptoms you may experience from too much acidity include digestive issues, unhealthy skin, hair, nails, teeth and mouth issues, nerves and emotions, um, low energy. So it, even in, I love this, in 1933, I love how long ago it was, 
Dr. William Howard Hay. He wrote um, A New Health Era, I love 1933, way back then. He maintained that all diseases are caused by self-poisoning due to acid accumulation in the body. It's a huge statement. And the fact that he said it way back then, and I believe even in today's world, it still holds true. So the green juice in the morning just helps to alkalinize and balance the pH of our body. It's also, it's a great boost to energy. There's, depending on what you have in your green shake, my green shake, I'll go into further detail later on, but has spirulina, wheatgrass, and really gives me an added boost and your will help improve digestion your skin will look more elastic and youthful and it's also thought to promote deeper more restful sleep and contribute to less arthritis so all pretty good things so that's why i suggest having it every day and then first thing in the morning because what a better way to wake up than flushing our system with water and then having a delicious green juice, green shake to truly support our body. So every day during this 10-day clean eating, I suggest having the green shake in the morning. So before we go any further, are you ready to increase your energy and boost your immunity? I'd be curious to know, anyone out there, if you are planning to do the 10 days and what you think of it. So let's give a little time here if anybody has any feedback they would like to share. Okay, well, I will continue on. Let me check my time. Oh, we're doing okay, okay. So I'm going to share with you the 10-day celebrity transformation by a company called Perium. And you can definitely follow the 10-day clean eating guide that I provided before. But if you're really looking for a boost to your system and to your health, maybe you would like to kickstart some weight loss. Or maybe you just like to kickstart your energy, regain your energy back. I highly suggest looking into this, and it's also great if you have trouble with following through and sticking with programs. Um, this is going to be a great resource because there's a lot of accountability built into this. Um, so a perfect way to celebrate our perfect health. And also, for in today's world, going back to that problem of there's so much conflicting advice that we're given, whether it be... Should we eat paleo, vegetarian, vegan, etc.? The Cinder Transformation, you can really curtail it to your own personal needs, which I love. Um, and it is, all the products are vegan, but and suggested not to eat meat during that time. But then later on, you can use the products in whatever lifestyle that you choose to live. So why I have chosen the 10-day transformation to share with you all is that it's an easy step-by-step -step system to follow. Uh, it really is simple and it's a great boost to reset your metabolism, break your addiction to food, complete detox to your body, cleans your digestive tract, increases your energy, boosts inner immunity. Um, and what I love is that weight loss is a healthy side effect. Yes, many of us, we would love to lose weight, but we live in a society where, unfortunately, what sells in marketing and, yeah, what sells is, is weight loss and these drastic before and afters, which are beautiful and I'm happy for and supportive of. However, what is most important to me is that that weight loss is coming from this awareness and this knowledge of eating in a new way to revitalize and nourish your body. So it's just a healthy side effect. It's not the rigid outcome. Um, and also what I love about Pure is the access to pure organic foods on the go. 
have them with me every single day. Great. So a little bit more, and there's there's a lot of companies out there. There's a lot of companies that make shakes. And to be honest with you, I was skeptical. Um, I was very skeptical when I first heard about Curium and had my opinions that I shared and then were actually met with some really well-sounded um, facts. So I tried it out. I did the, ten, the first time I did the 10-day transformation was a year ago, and it was fantastic. So yeah, kind of why I chose to do it was that I love that Perium may manufacture their own products, so there's no middleman, which helps them keep their costs down, but then also gives them complete access over what is being put in. And so they know that they're 100% GMO-free, soy-free, dairy-free. Um, a lot of shakes you'll find actually contain soy or one of the ingredients is corn, not under the name of corn, but under another, and so it contains GMO. They're 100% vegan. They're completely free of artificial flavors and sweeteners, free of binders, fillers, synthetics. This is a cool part. There is a naturopath on call. So for any distributor who has a question, you're given his number. Um, Dr. Michael is his name. Yeah, and... You can call him, leave him a voicemail, call you back, send him an email. He's really fast at responding to emails. And it's great that you, I feel like it's great that I have access to that knowledge at hand. And I've used his resource many times. So here is going to a little bit about the Power Shake I mentioned before. The Power Shake is the um, green shake that I was mentioning that I have every morning. It's one of Purium's products. It's powerful nutrients and superfoods in little time. And I'm just going to, sorry for just a second, I, here we go, just collecting my notes, I dropped them. <clears throat> But the Power Shake gives me the ability to get powerful nutrients and superfood with very little time. All I do is scoop out, like take two scoops of the green powder, add some water, shake it up, voila, I'm ready for the day. And it contains spirulina and wheatgrass, which are amazing superfoods to support our body. And I also always add, um, there's two other products. There's either care of mint spirulina or a scoop of greens that I add just to get an extra dose of that beautiful alkalizing green um, to start my day. And then I also add cinnamon and some ginger powder to help my body digest it, to help it taste really delicious. This is what I have for breakfast every day, and it's delicious. So I'm going to, um, this is my own personal breakdown of the 10-day transformation, Perium's transformation. And I have broken them down into three levels. I have the transformer, the energizer, and the enhancer. So I'm just going to go over these briefly. And I just wanted to have different options available for people depending on what they are wanting and needing in their life. So the transformer, a.k.a. the 10-day celebrity transformation, um, it's completely transform your diet and lifestyle. It's, this is the 10-day cleanse. And yeah, you can't expect to lose 5 to 20 pounds. And that is for real. I did it last year, and I lost 8 pounds, and I kept it off. So um, you can boost your energy, detox your body, improve digestion, and think more clearly. It really um, depends. So this is for you if you are looking to lose weight um, or if, if you are just feeling tired and sluggish in your life. and Realize that you really just need a kickstart. I This is what I would suggest to do because it's a great segue. We can have the best intentions to cut processed foods, cut sugar out of our diet, but sometimes we really need a boost, like a little kick in the butt to help get us there and help keep us accountable and sticking with that. So what your the transformation includes, you would have the power shake, that green shake I was just telling you about, three times a day. You would eat a flex food three times a day, and more information on the flex foods later, but basically it's 
a vegetable serving, a piece of fruit, um, something along those lines. You would have the super amino 23 three times a day. And what this is are their vegetarian amino acids that are highly digestible by your body. Pretty amazing. So you take them three times a day, especially as you're not having a lot of protein. And this just supports your body to lose fat instead of muscle. So you're actually building lean muscle. It's beautiful. And then the super lights are, um, to, you would have those three times a day. Those just help keep your body hydrated and refreshed, so full of a lot of electrolytes. And then the super cleanser you'd have three times a day. That's also just making sure you're having regular bowel movements and supporting your gut flora. And then the apothecary you would have at night one time a day. The apothecary is a cherry concentrate power-packed with antioxidants that it contains melatonin, so super supportive of sleep. And it really is just a really nice thing to end your day with, especially as you're cleansing. I, I drink mine out of a wine glass and take a bath or sit outside and watch the sunset. It's a really great way to, and I have this even when I'm not cleansing, it's just a great way to unwind without consuming alcohol. So then the next level is the energizer, a.k.a. the lifestyle transformation. So this, when the energizer looks the same as the 10-day transformation, however, you would eat your three flex foods, but you would also get one healthy flex meal, and more details if you choose to go this route on what that would be. So this is for you if you're not necessarily looking to lose weight or you're looking for a way to ease into the clean and green lifestyle. This can be a really great way to kind of ease into it rather than shocking your system. And this just helps to eliminate any desire for unhealthy food, boost your energy and immunity, and create new habits. Um, honestly, for me, doing the 10-day transformation, first of all, allowed me a baseline to see what I felt like after consuming just all pure clean superfoods, and then I remember, I don't know, several weeks after I did my cleanse, I ate some sugar, and at this point in time, I wasn't drinking caffeine, and for two days, two days after eating these M&Ms, I felt lethargic. That's how long it stayed in my system. I was shocked. I've never experienced that on such a level, so it's really, it was profound for me to see how food really is affecting me, and now, if I need a quick pick-me-up, I have my power shake. I have a little Tupperware. I always carry it with me. So it's in the trunk of my car. It's in my purse. If I need a little boost, I can just make a quick shake and I'm good to go. So then we also have the Enhancer. This is aka the Purium Lifestyle Club. So I would suggest this route if you already eat a pretty clean, mainly organic diet, but you're just looking to get that boost of green in the morning. And I know for me personally, Yes, I believe it's best to freshly juice if possible, but I don't have the time to juice in the morning. I don't. It's not, for me, it's not what I prioritize my morning around. So it, this is just a great way to get pure, nutrient, potent-packed greens in a really quick and simple way every morning. And so what the enhancer includes is the power shake and the apothecary. So then the apothecary would help to deepen sleep, reduce stress, and get a power-packed dose of antioxidants. So this pack, what you would be getting is a superfood nutrition delivered monthly to your door. Every month you would get the power shake and the apothecary. And those are my all-time favorite two products. So I highly suggest this. I would also suggest this if maybe you're just unsure and just wanting to ease in a bit or try out this green shake. So here are some testimonials of people who have done the, this is for the Celebrity 10-Day Transformation. One of them said, the best thing I've ever done for my health. And this is, I love this quote. I feel empowered, confident, and in control of my body and mind. I love that, empowered, confident. So yeah, like you see these pictures and they're pretty impressive. Like, wow, like they lost a lot of weight in 10 days. That's amazing. 
But to me personally, what is more amazing is, is that to feel empowered, to feel confident, to feel in control of your body and mind. That is, that to me is beautiful. That's gold. And honestly, I just know when I, when I eat clean and when I'm eating organic, my own self-opinion of myself is so much high, it's so much greater than when I'm eating sugar or gluten. And it's not even based on judgments of myself for how I'm eating. It's for how the food is affecting me. So anyway, if you're ready to feel empowered and confident in control of my body and mind. So I do want to share with you all that um, Purium does have a 60-day money-back guarantee, which is awesome because that's a really long time. So if for any reason you're unsatisfied with any Purium product, you can return it, the unused portion, um, at any time for a full refund. No questions asked. So it's a full refund, 60-day money-back guarantee. And here is a brief little um, breakdown. So in the green is the 10-day celebrity transformation, and it has the cost, and it's comparing it to a competitor. And to be honest, I, I don't know who the competitor is, but the 90-day program. And you can see here, they, I mean, this whole section, I think you can see my, my cursor. This is what's crazy to me. Like, these are what's important to me. I want the GMO-free, the soy-free, dairy-free. I want it to be free of binders. I love that they manufacture on their own products. There's a naturopath on, car, on, on call. So here is a little breakdown of cost. So the retail cost of the 10-day transformation cleanse is 290 days, or 200, $290. But um, if you sign up with me, I will give you a coupon code, and you will get $50 off. So it breaks it down to $240. However, if you do decide, and I actually, for anyone who's going to sign up, I highly suggest you sign up as a PLC, which is the Purium Lifestyle Club. To do that, you'll receive 30% off your product, and then you can always go in after the product if you decide to discontinue and just cancel your order. So what this means is when you're ordering, you will sign up as a PLC. You'll receive 30% off today's order. So if, for instance, you're ordering the 10-day transformation, it would bring it down to only $205. And then when in the ordering process, it will have you place a backup order, and you can just put anything in there because it's super easy to access and go back in and change it, if that makes sense. And you can always cancel it. So if anything, just sign up and then cancel it later, and you won't be charged. And if that doesn't make sense, ask me at the end of this. Shoot me an email. Ask me on Facebook, and I can clarify. So if you're planning to do the transformer or the energizer, you would be buying the 10-day transformation clean. So you'd be getting it for $205, which is a great value for the 10 days of food, and it's all organic superfood. And then the enhancer, if you're choosing that option, on the Purian's website, it would be the Purium Lifestyle Club, option A, and typically it's a monthly amount of $79, includes a power shake and a pop of cherry. But for your first month, you could use my $50 gift card code and get it for only $29, which is super cheap. The power shake itself has 30 servings, so that's a dollar per shake. And if you sign up with me, I have a private Facebook accountability group that I will be hosting. So you would have access to that if you, but only if you do the 10-day transformation. So it's not for the enhancer, but it's for the 10-day transformation. I would include you in that group, and in that group I'll be giving daily inspirations, meditations. Um, it's a way to check in with each other. If you have any questions, have anything come up, we'll be sharing recipe tips, etc. And it will be a continual group even after the 10 days. 
to make sure that it's more than just the 10 days and it really is a lifestyle that we are creating. So if you are serious about your health and really ready to take the initiative, take the first step, yeah, you can do it on your own. You can follow my 10-day clean eating plan that I gave you, and that would be beautiful. That would, I'm sure, work out great. But if you're really ready to team up and you're really ready to take the initiative, then I encourage you to take power over your own health and sign up today. So the website to go to is myperium.com slash wishallhealth. And I'll go through this fairly quick because we're about out of time. But um, you'll go to myperium.com slash wishallhealth. And in the upper right-hand corner, redeem now. The gift card code is wishallhealth. And you can choose retail or join. This is where I suggest you join so you can get the 30% off today. And you can cancel the backup order at any time. And then you will either pick the 10-day celebrity transformation or you will choose the um, PLC, the option A with the power shake and a path of cherry that will be delivered to your door monthly. And so I also want to encourage you, if anybody's thinking of ordering to act now, not only will you have access to my private Facebook accountability group, but if you order by April 24th, so if you order by tomorrow, you will have the opportunity to do the 10-day transformation with me. I will be starting mine May 4th. It's a Monday. And I would love to have others be doing it with me so that we can all be of support to each other. These sort of things are great, and it's just great to do in a group. Um, and then if you order the cleanse tonight, I will give you my own recipe guide for the 10 days. So I will email you. It's a little ebook of Purium recipe guides that you can eat during the 10 days for your flex foods. So thank you so much all for being here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the floor for Q&A. So if anybody has a question, you can write it in the chat box. Um, And let me know, or if you need clarification on ordering, me that I would love to help you out with that. Oops. Tara, I think I saw that your hand was raised. Let me unmute you, and I'll let you ask your question. Tara, you are unmuted if you have a question. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I typed in my question. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Let's see. I don't know who you are on the 10 day because it, it scares me to think about. So you get to the menu that you talked about. You get to eat that while you're doing the 10 day. The recipe guide. Is that what you're referring to? The recipe guide for the 10 days. Yeah. So if you do the the celebrity transformation mm -hmm. thing, you also get to get to eat because it looks, it, it reads like that you're just doing the shakes and stuff. Yeah, so um, the the way that the 10 day celebrity transformation, that's a great question for clarification. Um, it does, it, you do have, the, it is, it's not a lot of eating if you do the plain full on just transformation. So you do get your three flex foods a day and that's what I would include in my recipe guide is kind of how to season the things up and make them extra tasting, maybe more filling. Um, but so then there is the option, too, of adding in one flex meal a day, just so it's a little, it's, it's just easier on the system. And I know in the past when I've done the 10-day cleanse, I more or less, for most days, stuck with the 10-day, the transformation, just with my three flex foods. Actually, I probably did 50-50. I probably did about half of the time like that, and then the other half of the time, I would have another an extra meal that was just according to the plan. And I still had awesome results and still felt great. So um, for me, it's important to whoever does it to 
really address it and make it work for your lifestyle. So it doesn't have to be so restricted and rigid and you don't have to be starving the whole time because I don't think that that's healthy. But I do think that limiting your intake during the 10 days can be really vital because it's just a way to allow our bodies and our system to cleanse themselves. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good question. Tara, I just found your question. <laughs> That was my bad. And some other comments from earlier. I'm fairly new on the GoToWebinar software, so I'm still figuring it out. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because we are at an hour, and I promised you I wouldn't go over. I really appreciate you all being here tonight. And um, this is all recorded, so I'll be sending out a recording. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. You can email me or um, Facebook me right on my Facebook page. But if it's if you don't want it to be on a public page, my email, it's wishallwellness at gmail.com. It's again, wishallwellness at gmail.com. So feel free to shoot me an email or hit me up on Facebook. Thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Cheers.